Top of the morning, everybody. Okay. So I ordered a coat. It came in the mail this morning. And of course, I was on the way out the door to take the girls to school. So I'm going to try the coat on here. And we're going to see. I'm at work. <laughs> so we're going to try the coat on and see how it fits. I've been waiting for this coat for a month. A little over a month. Anyway, I've been waiting for this coat for a very long time. And I'm just like, if the coat don't even fit right, I'm going to be very upset. <sighs> I'm stressed. <laughs> Girl. Okay, let me put this... Um, Yeah, so, wow, I just broke my, uh, my sign, yeah, wow, all right, good morning, good morning, guys, <laughs> wow, so, okay, okay, that's, that's the kind of day we want to have, I can, I can feel it, I can, I can feel it in my bones, okay. Bright and early. <laughs> Bright and early. <laughs> Woo! Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, yeah. Bright and early. We, we breaking stuff. Um. Alright. It looks kind of small. Ooh. It looks real small, y'all. Ooh. Alright, let's see. Are we? Let me see. Does it have a? Um... Okay. So here's the hook. Here. I can't find the. <laughs> I can't find the hook. Okay, here we go. Found the hook. There we go. Bam. Ooh, child. Okay. The struggle. All right, guys. What do we think? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It doesn't have any pockets. Um, it's not doing nothing for my butt. <laughs> like, you know, you put something on you, but like, it's supposed to look cute. Like, it ain't. I don't know. Maybe I lost weight. I don't know. Like, okay, let's see. Is it given? Is it given? <laughs> Is it given? <laughs> Yo, okay. Um, I'm liking the coat. I'm not sure. No, I think I think I'm liking it. What do you guys think? What do, you, do you like it? Are we feeling this cold? I'm thinking it's given what it was supposed to give. I have an idea of what I want to wear with it, but the only issue is it has a little gapping right here. So I might have to add another hook. Wait, and I can't even find this hook. This is crazy. Hold on, y'all. I can't even find this hook. There it goes. It's right here. So the only issue I'm having right now is that I want this coat to stay closed. So I'm going to have to find a way to keep the hooks. Oh, I thought it smelled. I'll find a way to keep these closed like this. But otherwise, and I'm long. So I'm wondering if it's supposed to fit like, no, I don't like it like that. So I think it is supposed to fit like quarter length like that. That's cute. And I feel like if I wear it with like a pencil skirt. It'll give what it's supposed to give and some leather. You know, I love me some leather, honey. Um, all right. We're, we're, we're liking it. We're liking it. So let me clean this glass up. And I am about to start my day very early here. You guys know if I'm here at the salon early, looking crazy, I'm starting my day early. So I want to um, straighten up because last night I left kind of late. And I didn't get a chance to straighten up my little area. And... I'm actually going to try to upload a video 
really quickly. Well, I shouldn't say upload it. Let me stop lying. I want to edit. I have to edit before my work day starts. And I have a long day here at the salon today. I have, I'm booked all day, actually. So um, I'm not going to be able to do any vlogging. So I think that's probably going to um, wrap it up for today, to be honest with you. Because I already know by the time I leave here and get home tonight, I'm going to be done. So um, let me get some editing done really quickly and clean all this stuff up. And I will see you guys later. Oh, and I actually had a... Where's my hanger? I actually had one of my hangers from the house here. So that winded up working out great. So I can hang my coat up and put it back in the car. Um, I think I'm going to have to get this kind of like fluffy because it was packed up really, really good in my um in the bag. So I am going to... um Yeah, I'm going to let this kind of sit out and get fluffy. But it looks good, right? I like it. We're going to go with it. So that's that, guys. I'll see you. All right, you guys. I'm going to attempt, attempt to go get my nails done. So I'm low-key nervous about this because I haven't had anybody else touch my nails in a very long time. And like I said, I'm really anal when it comes to my nails. Like my feet, not so much because it's like it's polished. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if my nails don't come out right, I just be getting like anxiety. Like my, like my skin be itching, child. So we're going to see. I'm going to go in here real quick. And um, like I said, I have to use the gift card. And I'm going to look around and see who's doing what you like i kind of have an eye for someone who is really diligent about their work and somebody who's rushing but we'll see we'll see what happens and um y'all wish me luck Let me show you guys how they look. I mean, it's easy for me to show you on my phone. As y'all can see, I clearly like marble, right? <laughs> so I think she did a really good job. I'm loving the shape. I really wanted a stiletto style nail. So she killed the shape. I'm really happy about that. Loving the shape. She did a really good job. I'm happy about that. Um, so tonight I am, you guys, let's, let's discuss. So I'm actually, I am resetting my entire computer, meaning I am doing a factory reset. So I took all of my pictures, all of my documents, all of my files, and I put them on an external hard drive and I'm completely wiping my computer clean. I have a MacBook and I'm having issues with storage. I'm having issues with the computer just running slow. I'm having issues with when I'm de um, editing, it's like background stuff happening and then the computer would just completely shut off. So I'm completely doing a factory reset and taking and wiping everything out. It's also gonna help with storage because if you have a MacBook, you'll notice sometimes it'll say um, your hard, your dish, disk is running low or you'll get like error messages and then when you go inside of your storage you'll see something that says other and then other will be like the largest file on there so that's what's happening to me I had like 312 um, gigabytes of storage that I could not find on there and it was titled under other so I'm just going to completely wipe that out that's what I'm doing for the rest of the night so y'all pray that I don't mess my computer up and it's now seven o'clock on Saturday night I'm ready for bed <laughs> to be honest with you I'm tired so I'm finding some eat and I'm going to bed so y'all every time I get off work on a Saturday like without fail my click phone now without fail I ooh, child. yeah without fail I don't get food <laughs> like I do it every single Saturday you would think that I would get it together nope so I rode past every food place imaginable to get home to have everything still be frozen. 
just so that y'all know i work next to a pizzeria i use the major highway to get home i went past mcdonald's chick-fil-a um crown fried chicken a jamaican spot i went past the other chinese store i went past burger king um yeah so i went past all of that oh and not to and also to include i went past a grocery store just fyi in order for me to get home did i stop at any of those nope am i now hungry um trying to figure out what i'm going to eat absolutely am i going to get me a glass of chardonnay like i didn't eat anything today and i know the chardonnay is going to have me sleep in about two hours yep <laughs> So, I'm going to, this Chardonnay, this is, um, who the brand? Broken Earth Winery. Um, my girlfriend gave me this for Thanksgiving. So, I'm going to drink this. It's actually pretty good. You don't need a lot of this. I'm going to order something to eat. I'm probably going to get um, a seafood boil from, um, it's called Crab Du Jour. I'm not sure if you guys heard of that franchise. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to order it on my phone. Let me tell you all the tea though. So um, I just, I'm so late to the party. I just started using DoorDash, Uber Eats, all of them, right? Literally like within the last like three months. So I realized that of course they all have different delivery fees and all of that. But when I order on, who is this? account when I order on DoorDash usually DoorDash gives me coupons like random coupons and I always notice that there is a price difference between DoorDash and Uber Eats so prime example let me actually go back on to Uber Eats so for the same I like to get um, the seafood boil that has shrimp and clams in it so typically if I get that it will be anywhere well, I guess it's two ways. I get it two ways. I get it where it's either I get all three seafoods with potatoes and corn and it'd be like $58, something like that, before the delivery fee. If I get it at the store, it's always like $53. So it's always cheaper if I order it from the store and pick it up versus ordering online because online is always more money. Just like the, the basic... Um, prices of the food not the delivery fees and none of that just the prices of the food are always more expensive on your apps that's that's one thing and then two between the multiple apps the prices are different so on uber eats the same thing that i'm going to be getting from doordash is six dollars cheaper on doordash and it's literally the same exact thing and then actually doordash um my fee is only how much is this fee yeah, this fee is 49 cent. On DoorDash, the fee is five dollars. So, like, it's and it is right down the street for me. But it's like, yo, these these apps and these prices. So just shop around because that's what I did, and I ended up getting it on um, DoorDash because they had a coupon. Plus, I had a two dollar credit. I don't know where the credit came from, but thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. I ain't gonna complain. And um, I'm about to just order that. So I'm about to get the half a pound of shrimp and the half a pound of clams. It comes with corn and it comes with potatoes. I'm gonna eat that for dinner and get in a hot boiling shower and take it down because sis tired. Oh, and drink my wine. You gotta have the wine. Also, I'm thinking about doing my blog shooting tomorrow, which will be Sunday for me. So I'm thinking about doing that tomorrow. If I do that though, I would have to um, get all of the outfits together. I'm trying to get like four to five outfits and shoot them all in one day because my schedule is getting crazy. Especially because um, I'm currently doing Vlogmas and I'm writing on my blog each week. I'm doing two videos here on this channel every week and I still have to edit and all of that. Plus, I still got the salon and my kids, you feel me? So. 
I need to um, really condense my schedule in a way that I am able to do all of the things that I want to do. However, um, I'm basically, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, it escapes me right now. Batch. There we go. I'm batching my content. So, so my schedule as it relates right now is probably going to be Sunday. I'm going to shoot all of the content. So everything that I want to do for my blog, everything I want to do for my YouTube channel, I'll shoot that on Sundays. Monday will be the day that I organize everything on my calendars, making sure that I have enough posts for the week, making sure that all of my social media posts are scheduled, and kind of like a day to strategize in a sense. And then Tuesday will be my additional backup day to either edit or film. And I always edit throughout the week as well. So that is going to be my current influencer schedule. And then, of course, my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I dedicate to my salon, to my brick and mortar business because I have to be there. Hello. Um, so that is my schedule right now. And that is going to be my schedule going into the new year because I have so many projects that I am working on and praying on. I need to run a really tight ship for everything that I want to achieve. I'm an ambitious woman, honey, so you got to stay on schedule. So that is going to be my Saturday night, you guys. I will see you all in the morning while we get ready to shoot this blog content. I'm going to take you guys with me prayerfully because that is a lot. Because, like I said, I shoot by myself. So it's going to be a lot. Make sure I have this camera, then my big other camera, plus all the clothes, the outfit. You know what I'm saying? So prayerfully, I will take you guys with me. Or at least you see a little bit of the behind the scenes. And um, we'll just kind of go from there. You guys, my food came super fast. I thought it was going to take like an hour. It came in like 30 minutes. So this is what I got. Crab du jour. And um, did I tell you guys what I got already? The actual food. Um, it comes in a bag like so. So I just got um, shrimp and clams. I probably should have just got the clams. Coco, who you doing? The dog. I probably should just got clams um, by itself because I can just eat them all night long and be fine. And I'm really not even in the mood to be dealing with some shrimp like that, if you want to be honest, but sis is hungry. So I'm going to show you guys what the food looks like. And we're going to call it a night, sis, because you know what to do. So good. Oh, my hands are already getting sticky. I mean, dirty. So let me show you guys what the food is. So this is it. Like I, it came with, I got the sauce I got, it's called the Du Jour Special. So I guess it's like their house signature sauce. I believe it is a mixture of Old Bay and garlic and whatever else or whatever other, or the other sauces they have in the store. I think it's a combination of all of those, but as you can see, everything is nice and seasoned. The juice is at the bottom, and it comes with the two pieces of corn. I actually see three potatoes in here and some shrimp. And, of course, the um, clams. But this is more than enough food for me. Like I said, it's pretty late, and I went all day without eating. So, at this point, everything going to hit. There we go. So, I am about to eat all of this. Mm. Super good. Damn. Damn. It's spicy, y'all. Mm hmm It's good. It's spicy, but it's good. And the best thing about it is the cleanup is easy. I don't have to do no dishes. Mm -mm. I know I should not be eating. I'm talking with my mouth full. But the queen is hungry, honey. This is real good. Do you guys be watching um <laughs> the, the Ash? What is it? The, I guess the Ash. Is it Ashmar? Is it Ashmar? Essentially, the videos where people watch it for the sound, 
So you'll either hear people eating, you'll hear, pe hear people clicking, and they like the sound of, um, of anything. But for the most part, they like the sound of food and eating and chewing. And here's the crazy part. I like to watch them just to see what they're eating and the exorbitant amount or exuberant amounts of food that they eat. I think it's funny. I don't get any like satisfaction out of it. But that food be looking good. But this sauce at the bottom of this bag is hidden. I like spicy food, so can't tell me nothing right now. Mm. See that? I legit should just got a bag of clams. Cause that right there, that's all I need. That's all I need in my life. Mmm. So good. But like I said, I normally don't even eat potatoes. I'm eating them tonight. Okay, baby? Every last one. They're kind of small though. Normally, if I get the um, the full size meal, the potatoes be huge. So I basically paid. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I paid twenty two dollars, um, and I got it delivered. So that's really good. And I got half a pound of shrimp, half a pound of clams, potatoes, and corn. Twenty two bucks with delivery, and of course you tip. So with the tip, you know, yeah. 22 bucks before tip is a really good deal. And now I gotta leave my house. <laughs> Cause I was not trying to leave and go nowhere. All right y'all, I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm about to, about to demolish this real quick.